the police was like, um, you can't go up there. And I was like, I stay here. And he was like, I know. He was like, until they get done. So I seen my landlord and we was talking. And she was saying that they said it came from the Christmas tree. So I'm like, the Christmas tree. So I'm like, okay. But then again, I'm thinking like I had just turned the Christmas tree off when I got in for work that morning. So I'm like, come back. And what I was thinking about was like the heater that I left on. So I was like, um, I seen it. I mean, I had to wait for them to get down for me to walk through the house. They were saying, telling me how my kids was crying, how they had to calm them down. And I was headed to the grocery store. As I was in the grocery store, doing my order, I get a phone call. And they're like, um, donation? I'm like, yes, they like, you have something. I'm like, to me, I'm like, yeah, right, you're joking, you right. know? And he like, I'm standing here with your daughter, Kelsey, as we speak now, and your house is burning up. So I'm looking like, okay, I'm on my way. Leave the grocery store, hop in my car. As I'm headed over, I'm like, please don't let this be true. You know, so once I pull up and I see it, all I could do is just break down the chairs, because I'm like, I seen it happen to other people before it happened to me. I didn't think it could happen to me. Basically, my supporters and everybody else that's around that's helping. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy because it's like we're getting up somewhere else.